conclusion is a judgment or a decision reached after consideration about the given statement. In this section, the candidate is required to analyze the statement, then understand its direct and indirect implications, then finally decide upon which of the given conclusions logically follow the statement. Statements and conclusion is a tricky topic. You have to be careful while answering them. Let's get started. Conclusions. Here are the directions for the questions. In each of the question given below, a statement has two conclusions, namely one and two. Give your answer to the following options. If one follows, if two follows, if either one or two follows, if neither one or two follows, if both one and two follows. To solve questions from this topic, here is the first quick tip. Statement should be taken true, even if it is factually wrong. To understand this, here is the question. A cup of coffee keeps the doctor away. In reality, do you think taking coffee regularly, does it keep the doctor away? No. In fact, coffee has caffeine, which is bad for health. But because it is given in the statement, we have to take it as true. Then based on the statement, give reasoning. To the conclusion and here is the conclusion one coffee is good for health if we consider this statement to be true then this particular conclusion is valid because a cup of coffee is keeping the doctor away that means it is actually making our health good therefore we can take it as valid then here we have the third quick tip conclusion cannot be drawn on the basis of unknown data now look at the conclusion too. Tea is better to coffee. It may be true or it may not be. We are not sure. Because there is no information given about the tea in the statement. Therefore, this is not valid. We cannot take this. I hope you are clear with the concept. Let's try one question. Statement. Parents are prepared to pay any price for an elite education to their children. Conclusion 1. All parents these days are well off. Just think for a minute, can this conclusion follow the statement? The statement is trying to say that parents are willing to invest in education. Does it mean that every parent, because they are saying all parents, does every parent is well off or it means that rich? Is every parent rich? No, we cannot say. There could be some parents who may not be rich. Therefore, this cannot be valid. Now look at conclusion 2. Parents have an obsessive passion for a perfect development of their children through good schooling. So statement says that parents are willing to put any price for good education and even the conclusion is also stressing on the same thing that they need the perfect development therefore they are going for a good schooling. Therefore this is a valid conclusion. Let's try one more. Statements. Here we have two. All scientists working in America are talented. Second statement, some Indian scientists are working in America. For a better understanding, let me draw the Venn diagram. Let's assume this is the America and they are saying that all are talented. So Americans are talented. Then they are saying there are some Indian scientists who are working in America. So there could be some set of Indians who are also talented. Now look at the conclusions. The first one is none of the Indian scientists are talented. Can this follow the statement? No, because there are some Indians and they are talented. Therefore, this is not correct. Some talented Indian scientists have migrated to America. Yes, there are some Indian scientists and they are in America. So, this could be valid. Then all talented scientists are Indians. No, because here they are saying all talented. So, even these guys are Indians. Is it like that? No. There are only few set of people who are Indians and talented. There could be only Americans and who are talented. So this we cannot accept. Lastly, some Indian scientists are talented. Yes, there are some Indians, they are scientists and they are talented. So even this is true. So we can say the second and fourth are valid. Read the statement twice. Keep in mind statement is always true. And based on the statement, go for the conclusion. 
And if the conclusion has unknown data, just ignore that because it will be always invalid. And finally, if the statement and the conclusion has a lot of data, then go for the Venn diagrams. All the best.